In this video, I'll teach you how to graph tangent functions. Sketching a tangent function is a little different than your usual sine and cosine functions. Instead of finding a minimum, maximum, and intercepts, you need to find the asymptotes and intercepts. This is a graph of a parent tangent function. As you can see, it is more difficult to graph than a sine or cosine function. All tangent functions follow the same pattern. They have asymptotes, and the halfway point between asymptotes is a zero. To graph the, the shape, you need to find the halfway point between this zero and this asymptote, and graph up one. And on this side, you graph down one. Then the pattern continues. To find the asymptotes, you need to use these equations. Here's an example. Graph y equals tan 1 half x. The first thing you want to do is find the asymptotes, so we'll put it through the equation. We'll set them equal to negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. When you do that, you'll get negative pi and pi. So we put these asymptotes down, and then the halfway point between these asymptotes, we'll put a 0. So to make this shape, we have to find the halfway point in between the 0 and the asymptote. And we graph up 1. And this side, we do it down 1. Connect them, and then you have it. Here's another example. Graph y equals negative 3 tan 2x. You'll want to do the same thing and find the asymptotes again, so we'll take this 2x and put it through the equation. Set them equal to negative pi over 2, pi over 2. Then you'll get negative pi over 4 and pi over 4. We'll put the asymptotes down and find the halfway point in between them to get the zeros. But this time, instead of finding the halfway point in between the zero and the asymptote to graph the 1, we'll find the halfway point and graph down 3 because of this negative 3. And on this side, we'll go up 3, because usually you'll take the opposite of 1, which is negative 1. But this time, you'll take the opposite of negative 3, which is 3. And then you repeat the pattern. Here's another thing that can happen with tan graphs. Graph y equals tan x minus pi over 2. It's uh, similar to sine and cosine in how they have horizontal shifts. And since this part is negative in the equation, it's actually positive. So it's just the whole graph right pi over two spaces. Uh, originally there were asymptotes here in the parent graph, but since the shift moves it to the right, they're here now. There's an asymptote at the y-axis. And then you graph the thing like normal. You find the halfway point, put the zero, find this halfway point, and go up one. Another thing that can happen is vertical shifts. So with y equals 2 plus tan x, which also can be written as tan x plus 2, the whole graph gets shifted up two spaces. This line is for reference, so you can imagine it as the original x-axis. So in the parent graph, you would find the point in between these two asymptotes, and then plot the 0, and then find the point in between these, and plot the 1. So it's the same thing, but just shifted up two. Here's an example where everything is thrown in together at once. So the first thing you want to do is find the asymptotes. So we'll take this 1 half x and set it equal to negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Then you'll find the asymptotes are negative pi and pi. Except that you have to shift the whole graph. So instead of putting it at pi and negative pi, you'll have to shift it over negative pi over 2 spaces as you see here. Then you have to worry about the vertical shift which is negative 3. You'll put it down 3 and then put this to re reference your line. So you'll find the point in between these, plot the 0, but instead of going up 1 you'll go up 3. And this side you'll go down 3. 